So folks, we're finally back here in Stormworks and we're back with some more sinking ship survival. We actually have the RMS Olympic here uh, by Ice Monster 360. And folks, this is a massive beast of a ship. Uh, it's got pretty much a full interior in here. And you know what? Uh, we're going to be trying to survive. Why is it bright under here? Um, could that be an issue? Are my engines on fire? Hmm. You know what? Hit the thumbs up button if you think the engines are on fire and hit the thumbs up button if you don't think they're on fire. Either way, hit the thumbs up button. We need to go below deck. There's a chance that I might have uh, started the ship up wrong. Um, I'm sure this is fine. Uh, do keep in mind, I don't have any heaters on. So if we see the heater icon, that might actually show that there is a problem here. Okay, looking for like a main stairwell. I can see one over here. So yeah, um, oh, this is beautiful. Uh, yeah, this reminds me a lot of the uh, the Titanic. So yeah, the Titanic was a little bit larger than this ship here. Uh, also, I believe when this one sank, I believe it was a troop carrier. Uh, I would assume that this is morally uh, in the shape that it was in uh, whenever it was actually transporting people and not troops. I mean, troops are people. I'm actually really confused by what's going on right now. Also, this ship is massive. I can hear the engines. Uh, they sound like they're just turning over. Um, hold on. How do we get down to the service areas? I don't think it's on fire, though, because I would be getting the heat icons. Also, this thing is so large. I could totally get uh, lost here. Now look at the cabins and stuff. Insane amount of details here. Okay, we can go down even further. Ooh, look at this. Dining section. Also, fine art. Uh, I like that. Um, okay, how do we... I guess we keep going further down. How many, like, decks are there on this thing? Okay, this is incredible. Alright, so this is the bottom. I'm assuming this is the lower class. Also, this might take us to some sort of engine slash boiler room. Um, I think the ship's okay. I, I want to say maybe I just was uh, seeing things. Oh, here we go. Okay, this has got to lead us down to the boiler rooms, right? No, this is like the bathrooms. Uh, not like the bathrooms, like the bathhouse thingies, uh, or shower rooms. They actually probably have a correct, like, term for it. Uh, I'm just lost right now. So we're just gonna look down here. So there's, like, coal storage, and then, yeah, there's all of these boilers and engines in here. Uh, there's definitely a way down here. I don't know why that red light's blinking. Oh, these actually look like doors. Did these seal themselves? Uh, okay, hold on, go into here. Wait, so, like, the thing is completely sealed right now, like, each compartment. I don't wonder if something did happen, but I, I think everything's actually under control here. This is just absolutely amazing, though. Like, there is so much detail to this ship. Also, here are your lifeboats. Uh, it's only one on each side. The rest are not active. Uh, that's obviously for lag reasons. Uh, let's head towards the back of the ship. So, looking down into the ship, you can see all sorts of, like, dining areas. Uh, you got some nice little sun areas up here. Uh, this is very, very well done. It looks like they've kind of minimized the doors. Because I'm actually, like, not getting a lot of lag. But it seems like when you have a ship with a thousand different doors, uh, it starts to cause a ton of lag. Uh, here we can go into the back. Is this where maybe the smoke areas would be? And of course you can see on the back, uh, I would assume that maybe crew would be either way here in the back or maybe towards the front. This could be like crew areas. Uh, also it might be more like smoke areas. I know there was some designated areas on the ship for that. Then it looks like, oh, those are actually blocked off. I wonder if there's anything down there. It kind of looks like there is, but there's a reason the cage is up. Uh, but yeah, absolutely stunning ship. Hold on, let's check the little decks on the side here. Okay, so they just kind of empty back out into the main area. There's the staircase. Is there a side, like, deck or, like, uh, patio? Oh, it's up here. Here you go. Yeah, there's, like, a full patio area up here. So, yeah, I think we're getting out to deep waters. Of course, we've got to increase the waves, kind of see how this thing handles it, and, uh, see if, uh, maybe it can take some other things here. Pretty confident. This ship is rather large, but I don't think we're going to have any problems with tipping. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and start to fight. All right, so the waves are hitting us from the side. Let's go ahead and start to turn in. There is a scuttle button on this ship, too. Uh, uh-oh. Okay, those waves are really pounding us from the side. I'm trying to turn. All right, let's turn with the waves. Let's try to turn to the left here. Uh, there's a chance we might capsize this thing. It's pretty close. No, I think we're going to be fine here. Oh, you can see the doors for the sink. Uh-oh. 
Uh, right when Komodo says we're fine, we're almost completely on our side. It's not going all the way though. I think if I can just get this thing to turn, we'll be fine. I heard an explosion. I swear, the stuff's exploding in the ship. Also, I don't know what the fish are doing here. They're like, oh, they were flipping there for a second. Uh, oh, what is this in here? Oh, this might be the actual engines back here. We didn't get down to that compartment. Uh, we're slowly but surely turning with the waves here. We should hopefully go back up here in just a second. That is insane how far it lists over. Did they actually anchor stuff back then? Like tables and stuff to the floor? Uh, I think that's probably always been a practice. Okay, we've angled back. Waves are pretty intense. I think we need to kick up a storm here to really see what this thing can take. Uh, as soon as we get it even here. Come on. I uh, so need to come back up. There it goes. It's starting to slowly come back up. Nice. Okay, here comes the rain. Oh, I see those waves. I mean, the waves are absolutely gigantic right now. It's just the whole fact that the ship's also gigantic, so it doesn't make them look as big. Uh, we'll see what happens when we get a little bit deeper out. Uh, I think we're going away from pretty much all land masses right now. Oh, yeah, you can see how tall the waves are over there. Now, this will work. So the ship is leveled out. We are going with the waves right now. Uh, they're definitely getting bigger. Like, look at the front here. Look at some of them. Uh, they're definitely as tall as the front of the ship, if not a little bit taller. That lets me know that we're getting out to deeper waters. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go back down in the ship, kind of right around the dining areas, uh, just to kind of experience what it would feel like in a storm uh, in that area. So I must say it's rather classy in here. Um, looks awesome. I would assume this is probably like the top of the class dining room. Uh, I wonder if there's more like right below this. Yeah, it goes out to another one. Here's the main staircase again. Here, let's go down one. Uh, yeah, I don't know what those explosions were. Obviously, there is no heat being generated here, so I'm, it's not on fire. Uh, it's just kind of weird to hear that. Oh, this is a nice dining area too. Okay, let's go towards the rear. We saw a couple of the cabins. Uh, oh dear. Okay, this is starting to list a little bit. I don't wonder if we're turning. Hold on, let's open up the side here. Uh, oh, we're listing big time. Look at those waves. Those are ridiculous looking. i look up over there. Yep, they're uh, definitely a little bit taller than this deck. Um, so I, I think the ship's actually taking on water. This is the front. Look how long it stays under. I don't wonder if those explosions were causing some sort of damage. Okay, you know what? We gotta get moving. Oh, geez. Okay, get down. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, we're gonna get stuck under the water here. Uh, did I see something? No. Okay, I think it's just the normal waves. No, that is okay. That is, okay. Nope, nope. Get down. That is definitely not a normal wave back there. Uh, oh, that's catching us quick. Okay, you know what? Uh, get in. I didn't hear any sort of sirens or anything. We might be out of range of them. Uh oh, this thing is going down. Like, that front end is sinking. The scuttle button has not been activated. Uh, oh, I think we're going to have to hold on here. Hold on. How can we get inside? There's got to be a door over here. Okay, look for an opening. Uh, okay, we can maybe go up on the next deck. I don't, I'm going to get stuck here. It's going to be really bad. All right, here we go. Top deck. Holy man, that is massive. Okay, we've got to get inside. Uh, we got to make a run for it. I can't get through these. Okay, you know what? Go through the front. Okay, there's got to be an opening here. Dude, that is just like a mountain of wave coming this way. Uh-oh. Oh, we almost flew off the boat. That's completely fine. Uh, okay, there we go. Open that. Close that door. Hold on, we got to watch this from the outside. That is probably the biggest tsunami I've ever seen. What in the heck spawned this? Also, you can see the cabins are filling up down there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this thing's going to be completely under the water here. Um, okay. I don't think I've ever... That is just a wall. That is the biggest tsunami I think I've ever seen in the game. This is a massive ship. It shouldn't look like this. Uh, there's definitely water getting in. Okay, oh, here it goes. Uh, look, there's water in here. Oh, there's a lot of water in here. What the? Okay, we're up against the door. Oh, we're going to get flung out of this thing. Hold on. It's tipping over. I think we're going to be fine, though. That was massive. Now, where's the water coming in from? It's got to be towards the front, right? I've sealed all the doors behind me. Is this water actually in here? Oh, this is what? Yeah, this water's all in here. Hold on. It's draining out. Uh, am I underwater over here? No, it's, it's covering it, but I'm not sure it's actually going down. 
You know, just as I say that, I look at the outside of it and you realize that it is truly going down right now. Okay, so we're in the, uh, I guess the inner bridge here. It is filling up quick. There's the scuttle button. It's off right now. Uh, I think the wave, something happened. Uh oh, we're, uh, we're drowning right now. Hold on, let's get towards the back. Uh, the bad thing is the lifeboats that were here, they're towards the front. They're probably covered. Look at this. This is the grand, st uh oh, this thing is full. Okay, uh, get down towards the cabins. Uh, we need to get to the back of the ship ASAP. Okay, go, 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 go. So there was some sort of failure. I don't know if it was overheating. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, how do we get out of here? Uh, we're trapped inside of this thing right now. Um, there's got to be an exit here in the back. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, those outside doors are sealed. Let's go towards the back. We need to just get out towards the back of the ship and hold on for dear life. Oh, look, there's a fireplace over here. How nice. Wait. Are these not sealed back here? Is this where the water's coming from? Yo, this is like a not sealed area. Like, completely. Like, there is no door. Oh, jeez. Okay, run to the back. There's no door there. Uh, I think we're in a race against time here. So, I think putting this thing into heavy waves. I don't think it was an engine failure. It's just the whole fact there aren't doors built into the back of this thing. And it's like going down instantly. Oh, we're getting trapped under it. What the? Um. Okay, that went down faster than I thought it would. Well, note to self, probably don't play with this one in high waves uh, because I think the back was flooding, which was weird because the front end went down first, but definitely there was water pouring through that back. Well, we did escape the ship. I'll give it that. So out of curiosity, I think we're going to sink it the normal way. Uh, we're going to use the sh scuttle here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it. I'm kind of curious, like, as to how this looks. Obviously, you can see it pouring in water there. Oh, it's pouring in water to the side, so it's going to, I guess, list over. I wonder how quickly this is going to happen. So, yeah, I think definitely the uh, the back ends being open uh, helped flood this thing. But let's see how long it lasts in its normal sink mode, because I at least want to see that. So, as you can see from the normal sink, it's definitely already uh, starting to fill up pretty fast here. There is about where the water line should be. Uh, it's well above it. It's going down almost similar to the way it looked earlier, uh, which is kind of weird, but I think it's starting to list over a bit. Uh, so we'll see kind of what happens here. I'm curious as to if uh, any of the uh, funnels fall off. I feel like that could be really cool. As you can see, there's like a big hole in the side. Uh, so where are those actually filling into? Oh, there's like a section inside of here. I'm assuming it's going to eventually get to the interior. Uh, we'll see how fast it starts to move. Oh, yeah, look how fast this is moving. So I'm going to set my camera right here. Look at that. Oh, it's accelerating. Okay, so I think once it gets past a certain point, like it's pretty much game on and it is flooding so fast now. That is actually crazy looking. Is the back end out? No, it's not. Uh, we might want to move for this one. I think I'm moving over to the side. You know what? Let's actually try to deploy one of these lifeboats. I didn't get a chance to. Uh, so let's go down. Oh, actually, does this go up? Uh, how do we do this? Oh, we swing it up like, oh, wait, it's already over the side of the boat. Okay. Um, they're pretty much ready to go. Uh, oh, we might have screwed that one up. Hold on. Let's use this one, maybe. Um, I was gonna say we can use that one. Uh, that one's off. Hold on. Uh, we might need to try to push this one real quick. Uh, this is moving a lot faster than I anticipated. Come on. Come on. I hate how sometimes these things get stuck. Hold on. Is this one attached to the deck? Uh, okay, it's like a spare one here. Hold on. What happens if we just drop this thing? I, I feel like we pretty much have to at this point. Let's toggle the magnets. Um, okay, I kind of need you to fall off. Oh, look at that. The water's just going over the top here. Okay, there it goes. So it is released. Uh, the boat's still moving. The uh, aggressiveness of the sink, though. Look at that. This thing's already pretty much gone. It's going to push itself down in the water. Uh, it doesn't look like the funnels pop off or anything, but yeah, it looks almost eerily similar to the way it sank, uh, with the tsunami there. Uh, there goes the top end. We're just gonna get away from the ship here. I don't want to get caught under it. There's a chance that lifeboat might still get hit here. That is something. All right, she's going down. Yeah, I think it actually pretty much stays intact, uh, from what I can tell. It's definitely, uh, pitching up a little bit more than it did earlier, though. Dude. That is amazing how quick that actually happens. And there she goes. Yeah, I didn't lose any parts, but it is like tipped straight up. 
And there it goes all the way down to the bottom. I don't know how deep we are here. The chance it might stall out, huh? Let's just watch it. That's amazing. Oh, there she goes. So if you guys want to download this, I'll have it linked down in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Sinking Ship Survival.